Continuing my reading of Seymour Simon's Extreme Earth Records, I'm going to now read from The Biggest Earthquake on Earth. Being in a large earthquake is like being on a scary ride in an amusement park, only you don't know when the ride is going to end. The ground shakes and rocks beneath your feet. Glass windows break and walls in a house buckle under your hand and feel like rubber. Standing water in a pool or an aquarium tank sloshes back and forth. Car alarms are triggered and the sirens add to the confusion. The rocking feels as if the quake lasts for a long time though it may be only a minute or two, but every 10 or 20 seconds in an earthquake feels like an eternity. The May 22, 1960 earthquake in Valdivia, Chile was the most powerful earthquake of the 20th century. It measured 9.5 on the moment magnitude scale. It caused massive destructions, death and injuries, and left more than two million people homeless. The earthquake triggered many landslides in valleys in the southern Andes Mountains. Two days after the earthquake, at least one nearby volcano erupted, sending ashes and steam thousands of feet into the air. We measure shake, rattle, and roll with a seismometer. Here's what a seismometer looks like. The streets of Alaska and California in North America are the homes of the greatest number of earthquakes every year. The largest earthquake in North America was the March 1964 Alaskan quake. The shock was estimated to be three minutes long. Anchorage, 75 miles from the epicenter, suffered the most damage. In the downtown area, 30 blocks of building were destroyed. The San Andreas Fault is where most earthquakes occur in California. The fault, a fracture or a break in Earth's crust, is continuously moving and shifting. During the past three million years, the average rate of motion has been approximately two inches per year. That's about the same rate at which your fingernails grow. If that rate and direction continues. Scientists say that Los Angeles and San Francisco may be next door neighbors in 15 million years, give or take a few million years. Each year, Southern California has about 10,000 earthquakes. Most are too small to be noticeable, but several hundred are strong enough to be felt each year. The book is Seymour Simon's Extreme Earth Records, and you'll enjoy reading about every one of these in the book.